Oh, that's disgusting. What the? Oh, my. Is that my washing machine? You telling me my clothes come out of this? Let's change that disgusting gasket by ourselves with no help. Here's a number six ratchet. It's a wrench ratcheting number six. A T20. There it is. We need a flathead, a vice grip, and a channel lock. And then this thing, it's called the windbag. It turns any two-man job into a one-man job. Let's get it done. This is the Bosch I'm working on. Yours might be different. And it might look just like this. That is disgusting. So let's replace it. That's my part number. Yours might be different. Unplug it. If you can't, turn the breaker off. Sometimes it's in a small closet and you can't unplug it. Grab your T20. You're gonna take the soap dish out. Hit that button, pop it in. There's three visible screws in the soap dish. Take those out and set them aside. One, two, and three. Now, pull the panel forward. There's a hidden screw. In order to get there normally, we gotta drop the dryer and take the whole machine apart. But we're gonna skip that. Sneak in your T20 and don't strip that screw, but back it out. Now on the other side, it's a little harder to get to, so you gotta use a little force and you gotta pull that panel forward. Don't do it too much because you might snap the plastic, but just pull it forward and try to sneak that screwdriver behind there to get that screw again. It's on the other side in the same spot and just back it out. Next, take your flathead and remove the spring that's around that washer door. You stick it in the hole, you pop it down through the eyelid right there, and then you just peel it right off. The way we're doing this job is a one-man job without moving the machine an inch. Don't take it out the closet, don't drop the dryer, but just follow my way. Take this uh, rubber off the seal of the door, and just pop it in the machine, because now we have to get access to this door lock. There's two little round circles on top and bottom of the door lock. They push in, you slide the door lock to the left, and then pop it inside the machine. They got those two T20 screws. That little plastic cover comes right off. And now it's time for the six ratchet and the wind bag. These two tools are pivotal to doing this by yourself with no help and without moving the machine. You need the bag and the number six ratchet. Slide the bag under the machine. Use your foot, use your hand, use your head, whatever you want. Then you pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. Now, to be safe, you wanna take those legs and you wanna push them down. And then put your ratchet and reverse ratchet that screw out of there. Use your fingers to finish the job. Whatever you gotta do, just get that screw out. There's two of them on the bottom, left and right. You can feel for it. Right next to the legs, there's two number six screws. They're not quarter inch, they're number six. A quarter inch will peel it off. Now, you pop the whole front of the frame forward and down and the whole door comes off with the front and set that aside. Now we gotta take this little hose clamp off. That is the soap dish to the machine. It feeds all the water through there. Gotta pop that off. Now, use your flat head and pop the spring off the inside of that gasket. And then just peel it away. Make sure you don't bend that wire. You wanna just peel it away nicely, stick it in the machine, and the next step is to start peeling off that rubber. Since this one's gonna go in the trash, just rip it off. Try to pay attention to how it grabs onto the machine because you're gonna put the new one on. And while you're at it, clean up that mess. Now the new gasket has two little notches above those three holes and it's gonna go right into those two notches at the bottom. So the first thing you do is you line up the gasket. I usually put the hose where the hose goes just in that area and then I take those two notches and I tuck them into the bottom. If that's not in right, it's gonna be crooked, it may leak, it's not gonna sit right, it's gonna store water. So you wanna get this, this part is important. You wanna get this in nice and snug all around the drum. Next, the outer part of the drum, that gasket goes on as well. That's where the spring we took off goes. So the inside has to go in between the drum and the tub, and the outside has to go up and over. And if you listen, as you push around the gasket, you hear it kind of clicking in place. Some people use soap, I don't recommend it. Just stick it in there dry and start pushing it around. As you click it in, you're gonna hear this. 
Sounds like a duck quacking. That means it's grabbing in place. And make sure it's nice and snug and smooth all around that rim. Because the next step, when we put that spring on, it has to really make a good seal. If it doesn't make a good seal, there's gonna be a flood, there's gonna be water everywhere. So make sure this part gets done perfect. And now, we push the gasket into the machine and grab our vice grip. We're gonna put that spring on. So the first thing you do is you put that spring on the top and clip on that vice grip. Then you take your finger and you hold down the other side of the spring and you start tucking it into that groove. Make sure it goes in the groove all around as far as you can go. Only goes like one third of the way, most half. Then you pull that vice grip with one finger on the other side of the spring Pull the vice grip as hard as you can, and that wire is going to pop right into the groove. If not, reposition the vice grip and try to get the wire into that groove. Then take your finger and follow all around the gasket. Make sure that wire is not sticking out, because if it's sticking out, one day it's going to pop off and leak everywhere. If it's sticking out, take a flat head and gently try to push it back. If not, take the spring off and try it again. Now we put the hose on. This hose is very important. This hose gets all the water from the soap dish into the machine. Line up that little tab with that little slit and then put that hose clamp on. Then start tugging away at this thing to make sure it's not popping off anywhere. We're almost there, but it's not over. Now we gotta get the door in this panel back on. That little plastic tab is gonna stick in the back of this panel. But first we have to get those little screw slots under the panel and push it upwards. Then push forward and it should sit pretty nice, pretty flat. Now we gotta get some screws in this machine. So sneak that screw back behind that touch pad and get the other side as well. Tighten those screws all the way. Otherwise the machine's gonna make a bunch of noise. Here's what it looks like from the side. Now get this first screw in right here. It's a short screw. There's just three screws. It's two long ones and one short one. The bottom is the short one and then left and right go two longer ones. Once you screw those in, screw them all the way. It's plastic, so don't overdo it. Just make sure it's snug. Now we gotta get these two screws at the bottom back in. That's gonna push the panel tight to the machine so we can get these two number six screws under the machine again. They put screws under the machine. So if you, by yourself, it's really hard to do this without that wind bag. So you pump it up, get those screws in, left and right. Tighten it as far as you can, otherwise the machine's gonna make a racket. Then put the legs where you found them. And then let the air out the bag. You did it by yourself. This is not easy to film, fix the machine, and edit, and put it on YouTube. Please like the video and subscribe if you wanna see more. We gotta put this lock back in. So you push it in to the right, Pop the left side into the machine. Then pull it to one side and push it to the other side. Watch this as many times as you need. Now we have to tuck this gasket all around that lip. The other spring goes into that groove and it has to sit flush and flat against the frame of the machine. I like to pull and tug it towards the frame and then I grab my spring. Now this spring side goes to the door hinge Put one finger on top, you wrap the wire around the gasket as far as you can go. Then you grab this with the vice grip. Once you clip it with the vice grip, you pull it down as hard as you can and that wire goes right into the groove. I have another one minute video on my channel it's from this video and it shows you how to pop that on in like 40 seconds. Now, you wanna inspect all around that there's no wire poking out. If it is, take the wire off and try it again. We did it, all by ourselves, without having to pull the machine out, without having to do anything crazy, right where it stands. With a little help from the wind bag and the ratchet and this vice grip, and you did it, and it's easy to do. If you get stuck or have any problems, reach out. I'm always in the comment section. I'm in New York City. If you want help doing this or you want me to do it for you, reach out to me. My email is in the description and on my other videos. Have a great day. Take care.